1220KHTSHometownStation.com. I have, you know, every now and then I have certain aspects about my job that I absolutely love. One of the things I truly adore is giving things away because I love to hear the excitement in people's voices when I have contests and, you know, they call in. Oh, I love that. I also like when you call me with traffic tips because I like being able to help you help yourself as you get around town. But I also love, this is like my top three things here, I liked to interview people because I like people. So I have some people here in the studio today that I'm actually going to ask some questions of. So these are four young people from West Creek Academy, and I'm going to introduce them to you in just a minute, but let's give them a welcome. Okay, I have... Kaysen, Merrick, Olivia, and David, you're all here from West Creek Academy. And David, I'm going to ask you first, you tell me, sir, what grade you're in and how old you are. I'm in fourth grade and I'm 10. Very nice. And Olivia? I'm in fifth grade and I'm 10. Okay. And Merrick, right? I'm in fourth grade and I'm almost 10. So wow. Basically nine. Okay, nine, almost 10. I remember doing that, trying to figure out the math because I'm not very mathy. So it was really very stressful for me when I was young because I'd want to say, okay, I'm nine and a half, nine and three quarters, and it was like nine and 10 months. So when's your actual birthday? Um, June 6th. Oh, you and I, I'm on the 17th. So I'm like 51 and uh, seven eighths. I don't even know. Okay, and Kaysen? Did yes. I say it right? Okay. What grade are you in? Uh, I'm in sixth grade, and I'm 12 years old. Okay, so you're like the senior ambassador here today, and I'm going to ask you to tell us, why are you here? Why'd you um, come to KHTS? Uh, we're from our school's broadcast class. Nice. And so now, do you television or radio with your broadcast class? Uh, television. So you do television. Now, is this the kind of thing that you get to research the stories and you get to help uh, produce what you put on put on your put on air? Yes. Do you like it? Yeah, it's really fun. After being here today, do you think you like radio too? Yeah. Kind of interesting, right? Olivia, let me ask you, what is your favorite part of the radio station so far? Um, I like all the history about it. Like knowing where we used to be and, you know, where and, uh, and all of the different aspects. Because we've been, the station's been around a while, huh? Mm -hmm. Probably longer than you were born. Would we just establish your 10? I think so. Okay, David, what's your favorite part of the radio station so far? What do you um, like? I like, I like the new, it, it looks really good. It, uh, well... There's a lot of equipment, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. So you know it sort looks of looks important and official. Yeah. That's kind of nice. And Merrick, what do you like about the station? Um, I like how it covers um, school events and, like, events that are only going on in Santa Clarita. Right, so we really are your hometown station. We tell you things that are happening here in Santa Clarita. Like you heard me earlier do the traffic, and I cover our area so that we know, you know, what's happening on with the drive and everything else. Now, if you had, I'm going to have you raise your hand. I know it's radio. No one else can see you but me. But I want you to raise your hand if you can tell me what your favorite, what your, like, favorite story, what would you like to do a story on? If you were able to cut, David, go ahead. What would you, what would you do? A story on actually I don't do stories I actually do poetry <gasps> you do poetry yeah wow do they let you do that on uh, on yeah. the air or wow very cool do you, could you come up with something to share with me now um I ha I I don't I forgot all of my poetry. Oh, do you like rhyming poetry or do you yeah, like poetry? I like yeah. Poetry. Okay, I like that too. Let me ask you, Kaysen, if you had to do a story, you know, there's a lot of aspects of broadcasting. There might be the sports. Here we do the sports, we do the news. We have a super crackerjack news team that does they listen all day long for news stories and then they compile it and decide, you know, what's newsworthy, what are they going to put on the air? And they have to take this great big stack of news and break it down to little bite-sized pieces and I always think oh that is so stressful but then there's the sports we have Tim Haddock who does hometown sports and we have like our entertainment show and we do if you had to cover a story what would what would you want to do um, well my story of choice I'm actually working on it for my school we're doing a behind the scenes story oh uh, basically explaining what we do on our school broadcast that would be very fascinating because i think i would like to see that too what you guys do are you going to do like an expose and un behind the scenes here at khts too you thinking of writing that story um 
I know things sure. I could tell you. <laughs> okay, and Olivia, let me ask you a question. When you get done with school, do you think this is something you'd like to do, be involved in the media or broadcasting, radio, television, some, or papers, uh, the Internet, giving news? you think you'd like that? Yeah. Yeah, what about you, David? When you grow up, you think you might like to have some yeah. kind of, yeah? And uh, what about you, Merrick? It's kind of interesting, isn't it? Well, you know what's neat, too, is that even if you guys don't grow up and go into broadcasting or go into, like, the news like that, you are going to know what goes on every time you turn on your television or you turn on your radio. You're going to say, you know what? I know how they did that. I know how that happened. And that makes it sort of interesting, too. Well, I want to thank all of you for being here today. I hope if you're getting graded on this, you get a really good grade. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to hearing more about you as you grow up in our valley and what you continue doing. So thank you a lot for being here, guys. AM 1220. KHTS, hometownstation.com. Again, I have another group of people. We've kind of rotated some young people here from the West Creek Academy. And I would like to, first of all, I'd like to just welcome them in the studio. So you get the applause and the whistle. That means we're very happy to have you here. And then when you're going to speak, you're going to have to get right up on those microphones. And because you came in so quickly while I was in the middle of doing traffic, weather, and everything else, I'm going to go around and ask you your names. What's your name? Ethan. Ethan. Hi, Ethan. Thanks for getting right up in that microphone. Joseph. Joseph. And? Cassidy. Cassidy. Ethan, how old are you and what grade are you in? Uh, I'm 11 years old and I'm in the sixth grade. Awesome. And what about you, Joseph? I am... In the fifth grade, and I am 10 years old. And Cassidy? I'm 11, almost 12, and I'm in sixth grade. So now you guys are here as part of the West Creek Academy broadcasting program also? Is that why you're here? Yeah. Oh, don't nod. It's radio. i got to hear you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. That's yes. the difference between television and radio right there is that television is very visual, and here in radio we're very auditory. So, so let me ask you, Cassidy, what has been your favorite part of being in broadcasting in your school program? Um, I like being on TV, um, and it's really fun to write all the stories for my team, and I just like being the anchor. But the you're, oh, I was going to say, you're on TV like in an anchor, like in a Diane Sawyer important way, not like a Kardashian, these are the shoes I'm wearing today. So you like that a little better, being the serious woman on TV? I like that. And Joseph, what's your favorite part of your broadcasting? My favorite part of my broadcasting is uh, uh, me doing all the like the camera shots and all oh, the technology. Oh, you like stuff. the technical aspects? Yes. That's pretty wonderful. And it's, it, to me, it's very mysterious how everything happens. So you yeah. are that guy. You're in the know. And you, Ethan? Well, I like to do, you know, making the stories and being able to produce all of these wonderful, uh, you know, stories. And Excellent. Being able to be behind the scenes and take a firsthand role in. Doing this I'm, I'm going to tell everybody right now because they can't see you and I can. You are holding a camera right now faced at me. So you are constantly, I'm going to bet you drive your parents crazy because you are documenting all the time. I bet when you go to family reunions, everybody's very afraid because, you know, Ethan's going to be telling the stories and he's going to be telling them <laughs> accurately because he's in broadcasting. He's not going to exaggerate. All right. So let me ask you, Cassidy, what's been your favorite part about being here at AM 1220 KHTS today? This room's kind of cool. Right? <laughs> it's kind of padded, so, you know, I do sometimes feel a little crazy because I'm, I'm here all by myself talking to nobody. So it, But it's a good place. Thank you for liking it. I appreciate that. And let me ask you, Joseph, what's your favorite part um, today? Like all the technology here and like the... The equipment? Yes. Yeah, very neat. Now, have you... It's For me, it's a little intimidating, too. When I first came in, and I'm a grown-up, you know how when you're a kid, don't touch that, don't... Oh, don't... And here I was a grown-up. I was like, oh, I was very afraid to touch anything because there is a lot of equipment here. Let me ask you, uh, Ethan, what have you, if you if you were to work here at AM 1220 KHTS, we have a lot of different aspects, okay, in the radio broadcasting. We have sports, we have news, and I always say I really have great respect for our news team because they're doing so much. There's here being on air. There's, you know, the music programming. What, what part of radio do you think you might like to do? Well, I um, would like to be on the air. <laughs> yeah, on air personality. Okay, all right, that's good. And just like Cassidy, but she likes being, you know, in front of the camera. I sort of like that. And I do believe Joseph would like to be running the board over here. You might be that guy pretty soon. We have board ops who run the Dodger games and uh, Kings, etc. You might be that guy. So let me ask you, number one story, if you could cover anything 
in any anything in the world, whether it's the politics, it's health, it's entertainment, what would you like to cover? What would be your fantasy story? Cassidy? Um Anything that has to do with entertainment and entertainment. music. And so music you're our stars. next entertainment tonight, lady. I can see that coming, <laughs> Juliana. So what about you, Joseph? What story would you want to cover? What uh, area? I would like to cover, like, one of the sports games. Sports. That's very good. Do you have a favorite sport? Uh, baseball. Now let me ask you, could you be objective? Could you cover all the sports even if you didn't like them as a sports guy? Yes. Yeah, okay, good answer, good answer. I don't know that I could. And Ethan, what would what area would you cover? Uh, probably, like, breaking news. I like that. Breaking kind of news. See, now, to me, that's always stressful when I have to play that jingle that says it's breaking news. So good to know you're a man who can handle uh, pressure. But good to know. All right, well, again, West Creek Academy, Ethan, Joseph, Cassidy, good luck. I hope to hear more about you as you go on with your broadcasting and maybe even see one of you in the hall here one day at AM 1220 KHTS. The powerhouse fire continues to blaze and 30 homes have been destroyed. Hello, I'm George Cummings with your SCV News Break. Oh!